In this demonstration, I'll show you how to calculate present value. The question asks, Victor wants to withdraw $700 at the end of each month for eight months, starting one month from now. His bank account earns 5.4% per year interest compounded monthly. How much must Victor deposit in his bank account today to pay for the withdrawal? Now, given that it says that how much should Victor deposit in his bank account today, we have to use the present value formula, and it is shown below, and all of the letters are defined below as well. So let's start off by denoting what each of these variables are. Well, we know what I is equal to. I is equal to 5.4%. And of course, that percent is per year. Now, since it's being compounded monthly, we have to divide that by 12. And if we divide that by 12 using our calculator, 5.4 divided by 12 gives us 0.45. Now, that's a percentage, 0.45% per month. Now, of course, we can't use percentages when it comes to calculating these types of questions. Instead, we have to use the decimal version of this number, and the way we get the decimal version is by dividing the percent by 100. Doing that, we end up with 0.0045. So we just defined our I value. We also know our regular deposit or payment. The question says that Victor wants to withdraw $700 at the end of each month. So our R value is $700. Furthermore, we are told that he will do this for the next eight months. So therefore, our N, which is our duration, or total number of deposits in this case, is equal to eight. So now we have everything we need to plug in into this formula to find our present value. Let's do that. We have PV is equal to R, which is 700, bracket, one minus bracket one plus 0 0.0045, to the power of negative eight, close bracket. Now, of course, I'm using round brackets everywhere. If you feel more comfortable using square brackets, feel free to replace these with square brackets, although it does not make a difference. And our I value, once again, is 0 0.0045. Now we're going to plug this into our calculator. I'm gonna start with the top part. 700 times one minus bracket one plus 0.0045 to the power of negative 8, close that bracket, divided by the number at the bottom, 0 0.0045. So let's write this number down and interpret it next. So our PV is equal to $5,488.28. So what does this mean for Victor? This means that his principal or present value must be equal to $5,488 and some change in order to pay for the withdrawals. So there you have it. That is how to calculate present value. Prepare yourself for question two. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.